Hi, I'm Delisa Renadeo, and I'm here with my friend. This is my grandmother, Christmas Cactus. And the reason I call her grandmother is because she's very, very old. I think she's probably older than I am. And I got her from my mother, who got it from someone else before that. So anyway, she's doing something very unusual in our experience of plants, and that is that she is making this music. Yes, she is the musician, she is the singer, she is what's making this vibration which is being translated through a synthesizer to allow us to hear the music that she's making anyway. So this machine is called a Music of the Plants machine and it is, was invented and made by a community in northern Italy called Daman Hur. And it's very fascinating because what's actually happening is that the all plants and all things, I guess, have a vibration. And the vibration comes out from the plant in electrical energy and it is being captured on electrodes which are then plugged into this special synthesizer which allows us to hear her music. I'll turn it up a little so you can hear it a little more. And her music changes as she feels like singing or not. Sometimes she'll just stop singing. Sometimes if I walk out of the room, she'll stop singing. She will play differently for different people. And so it's, uh, it's not just an automatic thing. In fact, I had to hook it up and ask her if she actually wanted to perform for you today. And she said she did. So I'm gonna come over here and show you how she is attached to the electrodes which are going into the machine. So there's two electrodes coming in here. One is attached to her leaf and the other to her roots. Well, not, the, not attached to the roots, but it's stuck down into the root area. So I'm going to remove them and then she will not, we won't be able to hear her anymore. I have to be careful not to hurt her. So this nail actually just gets stuck down into the soil in the root area and it picks up the vibration from the roots. And then this clip is attached to a leaf. And when these two electrodes are attached, then her energy can be funneled into the um, synthesizer. So let's put it back on again and see if she still wants to sing. So this one goes down into the root area. And this one will go on the leaf. Carefully. And now let's see if she wants to sing again. Sometimes it takes her just a minute and then she'll start. And sometimes she doesn't. Sometimes I have to place it on a different leaf or wet the leaf a little bit for a, a better contact. There we go. Voila! She wants to sing again. I've actually noticed that I have a lot of different plants and I have hooked up the synthesizer, the music of the plants device, to many different ones. And the smaller plants often are more musical. They sing more than some of the bigger plants. But it kind of just depends on what mood they're in that day. And you can see that she plays and sings when she wants to. Having this experience with the plants provides me with a very different feeling about the plants. I've always loved plants, but now I see them as really the conscious beings 
that are interacting in their environment, and I'm part of their environment. And so my energy, my mood, um, is picked up by the plants and is being reflected as well.